Happy Thanksgiving, Canada. This is an annual tradition now. The holiday Monday meeting of the Red Blacks and the Montreal Alouettes here at Molson Stadium. Pushing them to eight and seven, a game above 500. Second place, pressure coming, and Fajardo can't get away. Slip through, but then he heads down for a loss for that Montreal offense as the punting unit will come on. And he, they fake to him and they throw it to Tyler Sneed. And he gets it inside the 45 on that first down play. Their regular kicker uh, is hurt, so Jose Maltos, this will be his first regular season kick of his career. He bounced around a few different teams, including the Red Blacks, who took him in the global draft. So what a moment this is for Maltos from 48 out. And he misses it. It's wide left. Dandridge dancing around and then takes a knee in the end zone. So Maltos misses on his first try from Monterey, Mexico. Crowd here at Molson Stadium picking up four receivers to the right for Crumb. And he evaded pressure for a while, but he does not evade Lowell Uguak, the rookie, with the top draft picks in the Canadian Football League. First and 10, Montreal at the Ottawa 48. Quickly off to the right. That's complete to Tyson Philpott. Lots of yards after the catch, too, as Philpott takes it down inside the Red Black 25. The University of Calgary, three catches, 41 yards, and a touchdown last week in Ottawa. Pajardo, deeper lock, intercepted, and into the end zone goes Brandon Dandridge. That ball was short. He had a receiver for a moment, Cole Speaker, into the end zone, but the ball never got there, and Dandridge was waiting for it. And he was uh, very fondly remembered here as head coach in Montreal, his days here. That pass wide open to Shaq Evans. Down near the 40, and another big first down for the Ottawa Red Blacks. Trailing 1-0, early second quarter, here in a holiday Monday. Dustin Crum is taken down. Another sack allowed by Ottawa, Tyrese Beverett, weak side linebacker, coming in with the pressure. Just a missed field goal. By Jose Maltos, that's the scoring in this game so far. And Alouettes might have a chance on this possession for more. Tyson Philpott on that slant. Second and ten of the Ottawa 38. Montreal. Blitz coming. Pajardo gets rid of it. Deep. Open. Touchdown. Tyson Philpott. And a quick strike. That's what the Alouettes were looking for. 38 yards. Before the three-minute warning. Under three now. A 2.50 on the clock. And a second and long Pajardo. And that is caught by Cole Speaker. And in some traffic as well as he gets a big first down for the Alouettes. Buys themselves some space. Need a little turkey. Well, they talk some turkey this first half. What are they going to talk about? Maybe this guy, Tyson Philpott. He's got the touchdown in this game. And he's got another catch for a first down for the Alouettes. Trying to add to it late in this first half. Pick up a 14 more. We'll look to see if they lean on him a little bit more here in the second half. On a second and eight up near midfield for Crumb with time running out of it. And there's the sack for Sean Lemon. Career sack number 100 in the great career of Alouette's defensive end, the Lemonator. A lemon drop. There have been many. And that is a milestone for him to be sure. In sacks last year. Jeffrey Enqui gets loose. Still going. Up to midfield. Big run, Jeshrin Antwi. Doesn't get a lot of touches. Got to demonstrate what a dual threat he was. Little fake to Fletcher. Looking deep to the left. Oh, there's a catch from Austin Mack. Haven't seen a lot of him in this day. Just his second catch. Well, that's a big one for Montreal as the Alouettes keep moving downfield. Third and goal at the Ottawa one. Evan! Caleb Evans with another Thanksgiving Monday touchdown in Montreal, this time for the home side. Under 14 minutes for the Red Blacks who have the ball again in a big hole. From throwing, completing two to Braylon.
And best gain of the day for Addison as he gets it across midfield into the Alouette zone. And sometimes that limits your overall production. Second and nine now at the Alouette 20. Cody Fajardo. He steps up. He takes off. And then he gets tackled. Right around the 30 and looks to be enough it is for a first down for Montreal. Former Ottawa Red Lock from the practice roster. Getting his chance here. Jose Maltos with his first CFL field goal. And get back two points ahead of the Hamilton Tiger Cats for second in the East. Fajardo. That's caught by Cole Speaker who he had an eye problem earlier in this game. Little injury with maybe a finger poking his eye, but his eye seems just fine. Again, a 16 for the Alouette receiver. Preseason win by Montreal over Ottawa in Ottawa back in June. And that one? Nope, he misses it right. So he's one for three on the day. Missing that long try as Addison takes a knee finally. Running around with over 11 minutes to go, barely in this fourth quarter, and a 19 0 lead now. Playing on the back end for much of the year. Arbuckle. That's complete. Jalen Acklin, first down Ottawa. Working the other way. Nick Arbuckle, the quarterback, taking over from Dustin Crum, trying to get something going. Get some points on the board. Mariner again. As he's targeted again, third straight time. Ex Hamilton Tiger Cat. He is in for the injured Lewis Ward, who is hurt for the season in the game against the BC Lions in Vancouver a few weeks ago. That script isn't finalized, but it's looking awfully similar right now. Although Hamilton may still have something to say about that as Arbuckle is taken down. There's Mustafa Johnson out of Colorado. Been averaging over 50. He gets that one up across the 45. Good return. Lecher keeps his feet. He's still going. 15. Finally taken down at the 10 for James Lecher. Playoff plans, at least predetermined. Shorter one for Jose Maltos, who goes two for four. He was our Coors Light moment of chill. Montreal Alouettes. Take a big step towards securing home field for the East semifinal once again. And the Ottawa Red Blacks are officially eliminated from any shot at the playoffs.